Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Clayton Miller. I'm an assistant professor at the National University of Singapore in the School of Design and Environment. I'm here to motivate you to take part in this edX course, Introduction to Data Science for the Built Environment. I'm on a mission to teach modern data science skills to professionals in the building and construction industry. We have a huge amount of data being created in this field, and my goal is to help reduce the fear someone gets in the face of large, messy data from buildings. Let's start out with how we generally already analyze data in the built environment. What are the tools that we use? Well, obviously the first one that comes to mind is a spreadsheet. I'm an engineer, I love spreadsheets. I'm sure you do too, or you wouldn't be taking this module. Spreadsheets have a lot of benefits. First, they're extremely easy to use. Essentially, they're just a two-dimensional grid of cells that allow for easy input, formula creation, and other tasks. Plus, everyone uses spreadsheets. You can send one to a colleague and they can start using it quickly. But there are some big problems with spreadsheets, which are becoming more apparent as we use larger amounts of data from the built environment. The first problem is that spreadsheets are not reproducible. You might have a story of someone sending you a spreadsheet in which you had to reverse engineer various cells to understand how it really worked. The second problem is that spreadsheets don't handle certain types of data well. Building management system data, for example, have timestamps that are difficult to analyze, merge, or change frequency in a spreadsheet. Last but not least, spreadsheets are not really designed for modern machine learning methods. Spreadsheets are not the best tool for exploring these new techniques. At the end of the day, our spreadsheets are a little bit lonely, and there's a lot of pressure on them to meet all of our analysis needs. The main focus of this edX course is to give you another set of data science tools that are modern options to supplement spreadsheets. We essentially want to give our spreadsheet a friend. And in this course, we're going to use an analysis tool called Python. Python is a modern, high-level programming language that's being used by millions of people around the world. It's a relatively easy-to-use programming language that's good for beginners. Python, because of its use as a data science tool, has exploded in popularity over the last 10 years. This chart from a website called stackoverflow.com shows how Python has surpassed all other programming languages in use. This means that there's a lot of demand for Python skills and also a growing amount of instructional content online catering to different disciplines. The main purpose of this course is not to make you a software developer or computer scientist. The idea is that we're going to add data science skills using Python to your current building industry skill set. The goal is to take certain parts of your usual workflow and add the ability to use programming skills to automate and enhance that process. This insight can give you the ability to tackle larger and more diverse types of data. Why is data science important for the built environment? Well, our field has some big challenges when it comes to time efficiency. This graphic is from an article in The Economist magazine that focuses on how the value created per hour worked in various industrial sectors has changed over the last 50 years. It shows that the efficiency of agriculture, manufacturing, and retail industries has skyrocketed while the construction industry peaked in the late 60s and has gone down ever since, back to its baseline in 1947. Why do we have such a challenge in the built environment in terms of getting things done efficiently? When it comes to data analysis in our field, I believe that there is a key challenge that impedes improvements in time efficiency. This challenge is that the design of buildings are mostly different, with each one being a one-of-a-kind prototype. You have different teams of architects, engineers, and contractors who are designing, constructing, and operating buildings in completely different ways. It is difficult for us to achieve the same economies of scale that occur in other industries when each of our products is customized. So, as building professionals, we need to develop the skills to analyze data sets from different sources. This means that ad hoc analysis and adaptive automation are more crucial for us to improve the way we spend time. Throughout this course, I will cover a few different areas of data science as applied to the built environment. The first goal is to introduce the Python programming language and some of its add-on packages for data science in general. Next, I'll show you how to use those skills in the different phases of the built environment. I'll cover their application to design, construction, and operations of buildings. Through these steps, we will be using real-world data and we'll discuss practical applications. I hope you stick around and join us in this process.